I'm Steve from the business firm. And one of the questions I get asked very regularly is the basic question, what is marketing? And more specifically, what can it do to grow my business or how does it grow my business? Well, to answer the question, what marketing is, let's first define what it's not. And it's not, it, it's, uh, it's not about trickery. Often you hear uh, journalists use the word uh, marketing in, in almost a, uh, in a naughty way. And of course it's not. Uh, marketing is uh, not about trying to sell ice to the Eskimos. Marketing is not about trickery. Marketing is not about trying to, uh, even trying to persuade someone into something that they don't want to do. What marketing is, is a philosophy which is actually the opposite of all those things. And that is where a company attempts to, to give a customer exactly what they want. So in other words, what marketing is, is a way of creating for the market the closest possible good or service that that market wants. So it's not about tricking them into what they don't want. It's actually the opposite. It's about... Uh, creating the thing that they do want and as close as possibly uh, as close as possible to um, to create the ideal uh, product or service for that market for the consumer for what they want for the buyer often the word marketing and the word advertising is used as if they were the same thing and they're not uh, advertising is one part of the promotional mix and promotion being just one part out of seven of the marketing mix. So I think of marketing not so much as an activity or as a type of promotion, but rather think of marketing as a, as a managerial discipline. And it's really about aligning the resources of the firm to fit as close as possible the needs of a market, of the, of the buyers in that market. So what can an organisation do to embrace the entire marketing mix? Well, the entire marketing mix, it, it's about the entire organisation. It's not just about promotion. It's not just about product. There are seven parts to the marketing mix, particularly in, in today's economy where a lot, of, a lot of GDP is around services. So in marketing uh, science, there are, seven part, there are seven parts of the marketing mix. The first part being uh, product, the next part being price, the next part being uh, promote, uh, place rather, and that is about distribution. The fourth part is promotion and that's the part that's most visible and that's the part that uh, most people think of when they hear the word marketing. But beyond that, there is uh, the idea of people and, and managing people within the marketing mix. It's the idea of physical evidence and managing the best way possible the physical evidence that people see attributed to a particular brand or um, when they experience your brand, your, your um, and buying your good or, or, uh, or service. And one of the most important of all, and which is part of the marketing mix, is what's called processes. And these are the things that your customers go through, the, uh, the actions, the, um, how they interact with, with your business, with your brand, what you ask them to do in order to buy from you. They are the processes and they are an extremely, extremely important part of the marketing mix. So what's the best way of managing the marketing mix? Well, the marketing mix is obviously vast and it encapsulates all parts of the organisation from operations to finance to PR, HR, it's all, in, it's all in the marketing mix. So for an organisation to be truly market-oriented, oriented, they need to use all of these. They need to align all, all seven parts of that marketing mix to produce to the best of that firm's ability a product or service that will best satisfy their customers' needs. Doing that is not an easy job. It's very complex and it requires decisions 
that, quite frankly, uh, need someone with knowledge about marketing science, about, about the way the mechanics of how markets work, of understanding consumer behaviour. And that's where a marketing consultant, a true marketing company, not just an advertising firm, not just a, a graphic design company, that they're not marketing uh, consultants. That's where a true marketing company will be able to help you create an overarching strategy that uses all parts of the marketing mix to create an experience, to create a product, a service that beats your competitors and makes your brand, your company, your products and services better, a better fit, a more attractive proposition than uh, what buyers can get elsewhere.